Hi, let's see how we can export the data to the CSV or HTML table format. So I have already created an array variable. It's having three object. So now what we have to do, we have to add a action here. Okay, so that is inside data operation and we have action as a create CSV table. Here we have to define uh, this value and this will be as a object array and for columns we have two option one is automatic and one is cost, uh, custom let's see both option okay I will select automatic and we'll save this one and we'll run it Okay. so this is my output for automatic option uh, let's see that other option okay so we have custom option here we have to define header and value which we want to see okay so for example headers will have a will have username and for value um, we can't pass this array entire array over here we have to pass a single value so for that what we have to do we have to add one more action in between okay that is inside built-in so side data operation we have pass json option so here we have to pass a content okay which is an our array variable and to generate a schema we have to pass a sample data so i have a sample data over here so i will pass it here what it will do it will generate a schema so you can see it has this schema type will be array items and properties and all okay let's save this one first okay so inside this csv now what i can do for value of username you can see uh, we have this username which we can select okay similarly for address let's click over here and for address go down and we'll select this one okay let's save this one and we'll run it okay so here is the output now it's having only two columns okay if i'll click on this one here's the data okay going back to my workflow now oh, what i will do i will use i will export this one to the estimable format so for that inside table operation we have activity called create HTML table so here again we have to mention this from value which is our object array and again for column and same thing or whatever we have seen for uh, CSC uh, action okay so same option we have it here okay we'll select automatic and we'll save this one and we'll run it Let's check the output. 
okay so we have this uh, in a stable format okay that's all for this video thank you for watching